recently co-authored a book with Cardinal Seurat. Co-authored is a strong word since Pope Emeritus basically wrote about 12 pages and Cardinal Seurat wrote about 112 pages. But when Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI was co-authoring this book, he was reflecting on his years in the priesthood. That's what the whole book was about. And in one of those sections in his reflections, he was praying with this very prayer that we hear Jesus praying in the Gospels throughout these, yesterday, today, and then tomorrow as well. And it was the high priestly prayer of Jesus. And he reflected, especially the night before his ordination, of those particular words that Jesus says, Consecrate them in the truth. Consecrate them in the truth. Pope Emeritus reflected that this word consecrate, really its deeper meaning is to be immersed in the truth. To be completely filled. Okay, sidebar, I love that I get to turn and see you now. This is so much better than talking to a camera. Okay, back to our regular schedule programming. To be consecrated in the truth, as Jesus is talking about here, is to be fully immersed in that truth. To be fully immersed in the truth of who God is and the truth of who we are in our relationship with God. And these past nine weeks, pretty much to the day, nine weeks that we have not been in this church building, at the same time, we have still been immersed in the truth. Jesus has still been at work in our minds, in our hearts, in our lives to keep us consecrated, to keep us immersed in the truth of who God is and the truth of who we are in the light of God. And in this time of transition, in every moment of transition, it provides us with an opportunity. An opportunity to, as we move forward, to at the same time look back. Not to necessarily distinguish them or to take them as two separate actions, but to do it at the same time. We're moving forward today. And we're going to keep figuring things out as we keep moving forward so that we have a nice streamlined process and a nice safe process as we continue, especially into the weekend. But as we move forward, it gives us an opportunity at the same time to look back. And we can ask the gift of the Holy Spirit today. If you notice in my homilies, in this time between Ascension and Pentecost, I've been focusing on the gifts or the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I invite us today to ask for a deeper gift of the Holy Spirit, of the gift of understanding. Because this gift of the Holy Spirit of understanding, what this gift does for us is it helps us to perceive more deeply the truths of our faith. To perceive more deeply the realities of what we receive here in God's Word, here in the sacraments, and in the life that we live as Christians, as this grace is constantly present to us. Now we might be able to see on our own lights that yes, God has been at work, God has done some things in my life, in my spouse's life, in my family's life, during these last nine weeks. But with the Spirit's gift of understanding, at this moment, as we take these steps forward, we'll be able to see more clearly what our God has been doing in our lives. We can see with the understanding that the Holy Spirit gives us to be able to help us to see more clearly how God revealed himself to us over the past nine weeks. And how God wants to continue to reveal himself. How he wants to continue to help us to know who he is. And the truth that he reveals in the word, in the sacraments, in our faith. So as we continue to move forward, our God is still at work. To take us more deeply into the truth of who he is. And the truth of who we are in our relationship with our God in Jesus Christ. And so we ask for a deepening, a strengthening of the gift of the Holy Spirit of understanding so that we can see more clearly how our God has revealed himself, how he has worked in our lives over the past nine weeks, and how he can, desires to continue to work in our lives over the next nine days, nine weeks, nine months, nine years, nine eternities. Because our God desires us to be fully consecrated in the truth.
to be fully immersed in who he is and to come fully alive in who we are in our relationship with him and Jesus Christ. So come, Holy Spirit, increase in us your gift of understanding so that I can know more fully who you are and that I can know more fully who I am together with you in the life that Jesus has given me.